What are 12 free things to do around San Diego? Find out next on Jaycation. Hey, what's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Today, I am here in Old Poway Park on these old school railroad tracks. A lot of people come here to take nice family pictures, beautiful area for photography. It really brings you back to like the old west vibe. I'm gonna give you 12 free things to do around San Diego. Now, I've gotten some comments from a few viewers saying that, oh, San Diego is too expensive, well, I can't afford it. Well, there's plenty of ways that you can enjoy San Diego without having to spend too much money. So let's get to it. So number 12 on the list is have a picnic at Balboa Park. Balboa Park parking is free. On the weekends, it'll get really busy, but there's so much space at the park that you can have a nice picnic. There's designated areas where you could actually consume alcoholic beverages if you please, and just enjoy walking around the Prado, the trails, maybe even check out the Seven Bridges hike. There's beautiful gardens all around there. You can go to Balboa Park, spend admission on museums and the zoo. If you don't pay 60 bucks for the zoo, and if you don't pay for $20 to get into a museum, you can save money and just enjoy Balboa Park for free. Next on the list of free things to do in San Diego is take a hike. Go on a hike around the beach. Torrey Pines State Beach is really awesome to check out because it's right next to Torrey Pines State Reserve. If you want to go inland, go check out Mount Woodson around Poway. Check out Potato Chip Rock. There's places like Cowles Mountain, Iron Mountain, Black Mountain. All of those places you can go hiking for free. Now, I haven't really done many hikes. I just did the Seven Bridges Urban Hike, but that's more of a city type walk. And I actually used my skateboard, so I cheated. But in the future, I do plan on doing a hike up to Mount Woodson. If you wanna check out my Torrey Pines hike, I have that in the description box below. Next on the list is exploring the Arts District in Liberty Station in Point Loma. The Arts District is awesome there are plenty of outdoor art installations out there that you can go check out you can walk around the arts district for free and just enjoy all the old barracks around liberty station check out liberty public market there's also a great happy hour spot there called soda and swine where they offer really great buffalo cauliflower five dollar drafts of california cream and ale from Mother Earth Brewing. Yeah, you gotta spend a little money on your happy hour, but that's really cheap. But if you go to Liberty Station and the Arts District, you can park there for free and check out all the cool art installations around that area and all the historic parts of that property in San Diego next to the airport. There's also that old training ship that you can go check out which is closer to the airport. You can also play over at the park in Liberty Station. So there are really a lot of free things that you can do around that area. Next on the list is discovering the many murals around San Diego. Now you can go to places like North Park, University Heights, Barrio Logan, even International City, downtown San Diego. There are murals all over the place. I've even found a few in La Jolla and they're all different. If you're really into art and checking out different murals, you can go around San Diego and discover them. Now, if you wanna check out these murals and know where to find them, there's plenty of Instagram pages and plenty of places on the internet you can go to check out these murals. Few murals that I've been wanting to check out is a Tony Gwynn mural that was built in front of a gym near University Heights. I haven't gone to that yet. And there's also a Kobe Bryant mural that I've been wanting to see. So check out the murals around San Diego. You won't be disappointed, even in the beach cities. I've seen stuff at Solana Beach all the way down to Imperial Beach. Murals galore in San Diego. Now next on the list is something that every person needs to come to San Diego for and it doesn't cost you a dime. And that's check out the sunset from any beach in San Diego. Now there are definitely a few beaches that will have some really cool scenic bluffs or different types of views. You can go to Sunset Cliffs, you can check out viewpoints in Encinitas, you can go over to La Jolla Cove where you can stroll around the cove and it's, see the sunset at an angle and the sunsets are just amazing. Now if you guys watch my live streams on Jaycation, you've seen plenty of sunsets on my live streams. So if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get updates when I do go live and when I do post videos like 
these. Also, if you want to like this video, I'd really appreciate it. It'll help me get this video distributed throughout YouTube. Next up for free things to do around San Diego is build a castle or ride your wheels throughout Hotel Del Coronado and Coronado Island. Coronado Island is an awesome scenic tourist spot but if you have a set of wheels like a bike, an electric skateboard, or even just roller skates, you're gonna enjoy going around Coronado. Now if you have a shovel and a pail, go in front of the Hotel Del and build a sandcastle. It's one of the wider beaches in San Diego. It's probably the widest beach in San Diego and you will love the views and you will love the sunset overlooking Cabrillo National Monument and Point Loma. Next up on free things to do in San Diego is check out Mount Soledad during sunset or during the nighttime because it's a beautiful area where you can overlook many freeways. You got the 52, you got the 5, and you can overlook Claremont, La Jolla, La Jolla Shores, and it's just a really awesome area, especially when the sun has come down. Maybe you go down to La Jolla Cove, you watch the sunset, and then right when the sun sets, go up to Mount Soledad and spend 20 minutes there. Go check out the cross. Believe me, you will enjoy Mount Soledad. Sit up there, have a little picnic for dinner. It's lit up and there is a lot of parking, so go check out Mount Soledad before you leave La Jolla. Next up, head over to the Embarcadero District in downtown San Diego. Go check out the Star of India, the USS Midway, San Diego City Hall. There's also Embarcadero Park over there. And there's just plenty of things that you can see. There's also the Bob Hope Memorial and then the Kissing Soldier. Go check out that statue. It's right in front of the USS Midway. And you may have to pay for street parking, but if, you can, if you're somehow staying in downtown, you can go over there and it'll be totally free just to roam around. Now, the Star of India, you'll have to pay to get in. Uh, the USS Midway, you have to pay to get in. Now, there are military discounts for the USS Midway. It's really not that expensive and it's an awesome aircraft carrier to check out. The next free thing to do around San Diego is going down south by the border. Now, if you've never experienced being at the US-Mexican border, a lot of people like to say that they've been in and around the US-Mexican border just to see it. Now, the Las Americas Outlets is the place that I always go to. They have great stores like Nike, Levi's, Adidas, and any outlet store that you can think of is a premium outlet center. But they also have taco trucks over at the Las Americas Outlets, and it's literally walking distance over the border to Tijuana. You can even see the Tijuana Arch and the Mexican flag flying over. And if you actually want to go to Friendship Park, it's right at the border wall. You could actually see people from the other side on the other side of the park in the Mexican side. People from Mexico and people from the US, their families or friends, they actually have gone there in the past to meet and say hello through the fences. So if you're looking to check out the US-Mexican border, make sure to check out Las Americas Outlets or Friendship Park. Next on the list is bike or skate around Mission Bay. Mission Bay is huge. You can go to Fiesta Island, you can go to Mission Bay where all the picnic tables are or go around where all the hotels are about and even get onto this uh, steamboat type ferry. You could even rent out boats and check out sailboats over there. Well, now you gotta pay for that type of stuff. But if you have a bike and you have roller blades or an electric skateboard like I do, you can check out all the biking trails and biking lanes around there. Check out that jetty, the marina jetty over there. Just enjoy your day. You can make a whole day out of it and have a picnic in any of the areas around there. There are tons of resorts over there like Paradise Point. There's a Hilton over there. If you're staying around that area, you can also go to Mission Beach and Belmont Park. So make sure you either bring a bike or some roller skates or your electronic skateboard and check out Mission Bay. Next, you're also going to want to check out the hang gliders over at Torrey Pines Glider Port. Now you can park over at the dirt lot at the glider port. There's a viewing area to see them taking off and landing. And you can also roam around near the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Uh, just below it is Black's Beach and you can just watch these hang gliders on a nice day going up and down through the cliffs around Torrey Pines. And nearby is Torrey Pines Golf Course and it doesn't cost anything to park there as well so you could also check out the lodge and maybe grab some lunch there but you don't have to pay to just roam around and check it out. Now if you want to play golf over there it's a different story. Now before I give you the final 
free thing to do around San Diego. I'd appreciate it if you leave this video a like. If you wanna see more content like this, please comment below and let me know. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I have plenty of content around San Diego to come and also check out my library of previous videos that I've posted. I also do videos all around the world like Barcelona, hopefully Las Vegas in the future, off to the last and final free thing to do in San Diego. And it's an obvious one, lay out at the beach and have a good time checking out the beach. You can do many things over there. You can do bonfires at night. You can have picnics. There are areas where you can play volleyball, areas where you can play basketball. And if you're near the boardwalk in Mission Beach and Pacific Beach, you can roller skate, skateboard or bike. There's just plenty of activities you can do around the beach. And if you're in Pacific Beach, you can check out the bars. OB, you can check out the bars and the piers. Make sure yet enjoy the beach because there's so many free things that you can do. Now, obviously you're gonna be like, yeah, well, I'm gonna still spend f money on food and stuff, but yeah, just being at the beach, if you're budgeting the right way, you don't have to pay a thing just to get into the beach. All right, Jaycationer, so that's 12 free things to do around San Diego. If you wanna check out my Patreon and support me throughout 2021 and my journey throughout YouTube, I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna join the Facebook group that I just created that talks about San Diego, gives you tips, articles, and news about what's going on around town, please check that out. It's called It's Always Sunny in San Diego. And I'll see you next time for another tip video or travel guide around San Diego. And in the words of Ron Burgundy, stay traveling, San Diego. Mm -hmm.